one of the strongest connections in your body is the gut brain connection or the gut brain axis. Hi, I'm a licensed pediatric psychologist and I work a lot with kids and teens who present with disorders of the gut brain um, interaction, which just means they might be experiencing symptoms like diarrhea, constipation, bloating, nausea, vomiting, all of that stuff without a clear medical or organic explanation. And that's because we know that the stomach and the, or the gut communicate very closely with our brain and that goes both ways. So let's start with how the brain might impact the gut. When somebody's feeling really anxious, really stressed, really excited, and when I say stress, I mean both emotional and physical stress, those signals can get sent to the gut and can affect things like motility, it can affect things like pain, again, bloating, um, sense of urgency to use the bathroom. All of those things are real symptoms that can happen just from the signals that your brain sends to your body. And I will let a physician go into the details, but if you're thinking about the very basic understanding of like fight or flight, when you are constantly activated, right? So if you are on high alert, processing food is not the most important thing that your body's going to do, right? It's going to put you into fight or flight, which means it's gonna slow down the gut um, to make energy for other things in the life-threatening situation of basically being alive, right? That's what happens when you're really stressed or really anxious and it's not managed well. But there's also the other direction where the gut can affect how you're feeling. Now, again, as a non-physician, I think there's still so much that we're going to learn, but even from some of the newer research coming out, there's a very, um, clear interaction of the gut microbiome and kind of things going on in the gut that do affect your emotions and how your brain processes things. So again, symptoms are real, even if they're not showing up on any medical testing and they do impact quality of life. The good news is that there are lots of really great treatments. Um, part of treatment is going to work with your GI physician to kind of rule out anything else that might be going on and to see if there's anything they can do to kind of help with stimulating appetite or maybe helping with constipation. But usually you also work with mental health, um, usually a dedicated like GI psychologist who can help manage life when these things are going on and kind of live life to the fullest.